So I have no idea what to say now at the beginning of the episode. Uh house? Question mark? So, another episode of the Mechanic Crafters. It's been a while <laughs> and I've done a lot of things, from getting netherite from all of my tools and almost enchanting every single tool fully and every single weapon fully I say, almost. To, you know, building a medieval house that will serve as my base in this area. Oh, that looks cool. I haven't checked it on the map. That looks cool. And yeah, it's gonna serve as, let's say, my starting base for this area because I will be spending most of my time here because of the villagers and because I will need to gather some more materials so, you know, I can actually build this thing that I just started over here and it's just currently a floating you know, warehouse thing. And yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I also got a bitter skull. So, you know, we are one step closer to getting a beacon very soon. Very soon, I say, because I have also managed to get a looting book from the enchanting table. Here it is, so looting and sweeping edge free. I'm just waiting for sharpness four, so I have a, you know, full sharpness five sword. <laughs> I don't know why am I doing that. Anyway, yeah, house, nice looking house, nice looking medieval house. And this is a little theme I'm gonna do for this village. I'm not probably gonna do all of the houses this big because you know i want to maybe keep a little bit of a low style like a cabin of some kind a few houses will be like this but most of them will be like little cabins or little houses and so on and well this is like you know my base i already started to move stuff in it mostly to create stuff as you can see we have mechanical press some mill and uh that's a uh, why that's what what <laughs> I why am I stupid? That's a mechanical mixer. Yeah, I know I know create mod. Don't worry. Okay, so I will need to work on the interior on this thing and you know moving all of my things in here. So it actually looks nice and it's not just empty thing with some lanterns around and a crafting table. I have another crafting table over here. Is a crafting table over here? No, there's only a stew stove. Um, yeah, it's a stove. <laughs> I know English. My English is pretty good. <laughs> now, before I do that, I want to do something else, which is... Do I have a water bucket? Yes, I do. Which is, yeah, you know, uh, do something with the villagers. And, oh, I didn't see this from the back. So maybe we can check that out as well. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Look at it. We have a tower. I use the tower for like a staircase to climb up and this looks really nice from the backside. I haven't checked it out. Really nice. Okay, 
I was talking about villagers. I, I, I I've managed to capture a zombie. In this case, a baby zombie that I just remembered. If I open this, he's gonna escape. Um. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's here. I'm gonna use a baby zombie to turn those villagers into zombie villagers and then kill them and you know then they sell the mending book and all the other things for one diamond or very cheaply so you know i don't need to spend much time trading here and can easily get everything i need i also will need to breed them uh, i feel like this is going to be scuffed and this is going to be a little bit of a pain to set up also i almost forgot before i do that uh i'm just gonna tell a little thing so i did stream me starting building this like i built the basic chef for this and on the stream i like told uh, like i was talking about how this little guy uh, the captured blaze burner or the blaze looks like a little demon from the Havon castle like a little fire demon that powers the entire castle and maybe you know i can use him to power my entire base over here or let's say simulate me powering an entire base because you know he doesn't actually power anything he just uses is used to you know hit up the basin for some kind of a mixing to happen so i find out found out that he outputs the signal for the comparator so you know i can just feed him some planks he outputs the signal and then I can make my base work. So, for example, he needs to get some coal, some planks or anything else. So he's in this state for my base to work. That's a really cool idea. You know, I'm going to possibly do that. Okay, enough of me, you know, dragging things around. I need to move that zombie thing to infect the villagers and cure them. I really don't want to do that. <sighs> I just now noticed I don't have a spider eye. So, I should get that first before I turn them into zombie villagers. And I should get some apples. Oh, well, I don't need to deal with that then. <laughs> Let's get some apples and some spider, spider eyes first. <laughs> That was a little adventure. I got 21 spider eye. 21, 61, not 21, 61 spider eye. I don't know why. I will not need that many spider eye. And I also got free wither skull. Because, you know, I just went on a little detour and I was like, why not? Try to get two more. Maybe we can fight and wither this episode. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and I got a Mar Marodo sapling. Marodo sapling? Marodo sapling and jungle sapling from the wandering trader, which is really good. You know, maybe I can use it for building later. Now, we need to go and, you know, prepare this. And I need to finally work on infecting the villagers and then curing them. Huh, how will I do that? I think I got it. So. I have this lever that when I press the villager is gonna get like lowered down so you know the baby zombie can attack him from over here so I've prepared a little hole over here for him and I prepared a little path for him to get in this hole 
I just didn't test it, so I don't know if he will actually attack our villager and kill him and, you know, everything he needs to do with the villager. So, first things first, actually, I need to go and, you know, craft a weakness potion. And, well, with create, we can do that easily if we use the little fella or this little guy. Hello, let's go, our tamed blaze. Oh, yeah, also... I need a name for these guys, so, you know, just leave some suggestions in the comments and I'll see uh, what's the best. And if there is none, none that I like, I'll just name him myself. I'm terrible at naming things. So for this, we're gonna need a um, Hanukkah Mixer, our Blaze little guy down there below the bas Basin. Basin. That's a uh, Basin. Below the Basin. And I'm gonna need a Fragmented Spider Eye. And a few bottles of water. I think this will work, right? Oh, I can just have one bottle of water? Okay. So, we just need to mix that. And we also need to, you know, make this guy actually do this. And this should work. Do I need... Oh, I need real water. Okay. So, the bottle of water was not needed, actually. Okay, uh, I have a weakness potion now. Uh, what? Can I can I just throw in some gunpowder? Okay, and a uh, gunpowder. Oh yeah, and it is going to be a splashing weakness potion. So if I take it, hey, we got a splash potion of weakness. How much do we have? Oh, do we have enough for three bottles? Oh, we have enough for more bottles. Oh. This is way better than brewing stands. This is really nice. I'm really sorry. We have we, we you'll need to be here for a while. I know, I know. I'm gonna make a better living space for you once we, you know, move towards this area, you know, over here. Once I finish with planning and build everything. Maybe even before that. Okay. Now I can go and try to transfer the zombie villager. Or try to transfer the little zombie baby, baby zombie. Okay, I hope this will work. Hello? Whoa! <laughs> you are aggressive. You're fast. Okay, you can't get me because of the trap doors. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I wanted to give you a sword. An enchanted sword. Uh, where's my diamonds? Two diamonds. Ah, sharpness too will do for now. Okay. Let's give him a sword with sharpness on it, so he can kill the villagers faster. Nice. How much do you hit for? Oh, okay. Just that. That's because I have armor on. Okay, come over here, little one. No? He doesn't see me. Really? This is close. No! I am an idiot! Why did I open a trapdoor? <laughs> I destroyed this trapdoor. And this. Okay, I need to sleep. Come on, come on. I don't have I don't have time for this. Come over here. You are a big struggle. Why am I struggling with you so much? Come over here. Yeah, you can see me now. Nice. No. Ooh. Ooh. That's close. No, no, no. You can't. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but you can't. Okay. Uh, let's see if he will actually attack our villager. Okay, we have everything ready. He's there. Okay, villager down. Okay, he's attacking him. And he's a zombie villager. We splash him. And we give him an apple. And now we wait. Hey, here it is. <laughs> He's cured. Okay, let's see what are your trades now. Ooh, 25 sticks for an emerald. That's a little bit cheaper. Not as cheap as I was hoping for, but you know, we are trading sticks for emeralds, so that's okay. Okay, we actually, you know what? I need names for those villagers, as I said. 
I'm incredibly bad at naming things, so you know, just drop the suggestions for silly names. Just write some silly, stupid names for the villager. <laughs> okay, so this works. I can cure my villagers, and then I can trade a little bit cheaper. I will need to set up other pistons and everything else. And I also will need to get a lot more gold because... Oh, yeah, yeah, you were in my head. I'm sorry. I currently don't have any gold, so I can't create any more golden apples or crap, more golden apples. So I will need to get that. And I also want to start decorating the interior of this thing. So, you know, I think I'm gonna just see when I have enough golden apples and, you know, when this interior is finished. So, another time skip or time stop. Time stop? What? Zavardo! Two days have passed. Holy shit, was that a Jojo reference? <laughs> So anyway, I've finally finished the interior of my house and we can take a little look at what we have over here. So we're going to firstly enter into a little bit of a workspace that you could have guessed it's going to be here because I started building it a little bit. And this is the finished product, I would say currently. It's looking really nice and I really like how I managed to do things over here. This is the space where we're going to mostly do, you know, milling, mixing, you know, pressing, you know, playing with create. And I like how I managed to, you know, make it so that it's not constantly running. It wasn't that hard. You just have a clutch that you have a lever, you know, you just, you know, turn it off and on. Now, this is also connected to the windmill over here. So we have like a line of shafts going through the ground. And it's kind of like an underground power line for the rotational power. And I think that I'm going to use like a windmill for everything in this village. And I think I'm going to need more windmills than one because there is no way that one can support everything in here. So, you know, we're going to have more windmills in this area. But yeah, this is a nice little workspace. And we have a few more things that I've done. Now, downstairs is where can i can i can i move to the side please yes I, okay i don't know what happened over here i wasn't able to move anyway here is a little washing area it's like a basement area and i've you know we have a washing and smelting over here maybe some blacksmithing you know tool making we have a little heater over here or a blast furnace that's connected to the you know the exhaustion pipes something I'm using shorts because they look really nice and they fit really great with the blast furnace and this is also a really nice area mostly going to do washing and smelting in this area and yeah it's looking really really nice now we're gonna go upstairs and we are going to go into a more of a living area i would say or an area where i will store most of my items now i say most of my items because you know, we, I have a lot of barrels over here, more barrels, more barrels. I also have a book that possibly I will be writing a to-do list in this village and so on. And also this area is connected to the attic. That's basically a little storage over here. So you, as you can see, we have a lot of chests, a lot of crates, a lot of barrels over here that I can just store stuff in and, you know, have them over here and not have a giant chest monster outside it's it's not that big but I, I don't like seeing like chests just laying around like this it's much nicer if they are and something like this or maybe organized a little bit now next to this let's say living room that we have over here we have a little kitchen and well yeah we're gonna use a kitchen to store food and currently I am eating shepherd's pie because it gives me nourishment so I don't need to eat for 8 minutes and I don't need to worry about food which is really nice. I have like 3 more stocked up over here so you know I can just come in, take some and you know be done for like next 20 minutes <laughs> with food. And I really like how this is detailed. I really liked how you can actually put the carrots and beetroots and other vegetables and, you know, other things in the pots with the quark mod. And it gives a little bit more life to the kitchen. And I can also use, like, different pies and different cakes instead of a Minecraft cake and, in this case, a turkey. 
to detail and give it a little bit more life to this area as well. Now, next to this is a little, let's say, you no know, dining area. You can sit down here, you know, enjoy your meal, look outside of the window. This is not going to get used that much. It's just to, you know, fill in the space. And I really like this area as well. Now, we're going to go upstairs because upstairs is enchanting area and my bedroom now my bedroom is not in the tower it's attached to the roof basically as you can see this is the bedroom i have my bed over here in which i sleep and i have some more storage over here and this is a little bit crowded but it looks nice and yeah just serving as you know where my bed is currently even though i'm gonna possibly just have a, a bed carry carry it around and sleep wherever I am currently why am I doing this and just going in your face I don't know now this area is just a little bit of a tower we have a nice view out here out the entire area be behind here and also up here I have an enchanting area so at the top of the tower I've put in my enchanting table over here we have all the books this does give like 30 levels or does have an enchantment of the 30 levels right it has so you know i can enchant everything over here even though it's kind of pain to get up here but i think once i get an elytra it would not be such big of a deal i can just land here go upstairs enchant if i need and that's it now yeah i'm i'm going down <laughs> by jumping and doing a water bucket because i am a lazy person and i'm in your face again i'm sorry Okay, now when I'm done with this, so I, I can leave this area a little bit. And while I did want to, you know, cure these villagers and have them set up for everything, I kind of lost the baby zombie. And can I get up here, actually? No, I can't, apparently. I lost the baby zombie, but I managed to find another zombie. It's a, it's a big zombie currently, so I will need to rework this. But like I said, I don't want to do this. Do this do this do this right now so i'm gonna go back to my base and what i want to do is try to plan this out a little bit and to plan this out i will need a lot of wool and i know one person that is set up or that has set up kind of a wool farm over here i'm not sure if he's selling anything i will need to check that out so now we can go to the spawn check if i got any profits from my books and see if he's actually selling any wool for me to buy okay so here we are at the spawn slash shopping district <laughs> of our server and i think i man i managed i forgot to mention this that i've added two more two more vending machines to my vending book and they're selling silk touch and fortune and i also managed to make them compact now, I honestly don't remember if I did say this or if I did show them already in this episode. But anyway, but yeah, they're pretty cool. And I can go and check if we got any profits from selling any of those books. 14 diamonds. Nice. That's pretty nice. Again, I think I got 14 diamonds last time. Wait, which books were sold? So I can look at that from over here. A lot of Silk Touch was bought. Um, where is the mending? Some mending books. I don't need to restock or mending books anytime soon. And I think that only like, yeah, only two fortune free. So it was more of a silk touch and mending book that were being bought than the, you know, fortune free. But anyway, I really like them. We have those free vending books, uh, vending machines over here. I'm gonna add more in the future. 14 diamonds to my name. We have a stack and 17 and we have some more diamond ore that I managed to found found and I managed to find and I also found some more ancient debris when I was going to my going mining for some gold to craft some more golden apples and yeah we have 15 more ancient debris and well let's see I don't think that rocket is selling any wool yet so if he's not selling any wool yet I will need to go to his base and AFK there and just take the wool for myself. You know, I'm going to pay him something. Of course, I really need wool to <laughs> do my planning. Yeah, he's not selling any wool. 
is selling silk touch though. One silk touch, two diamonds. One fortune free, two diamonds. Yeah, nobody's buying from you. <laughs> Everybody's going to my place. Let's go to the rocket's little island and AFK at his sheep farm. We're gonna use his farm. <laughs> oh, rocket has a ball now. <laughs> a ball made out of leaves. Um, how do I enter over here? Oh, there are the boats are here. Okay, so this is a docking port and I am Okay, I was I was thinking I was gonna be stuck here. How do I enter? Where is the entrance? I don't know This is the entrance <laughs> Just take down the leaves. Okay, where is that sheep farm? I rem Oh, here is the sheep farm How much wool does he have? Oh, he has a lot of wool Okay, I think I'm gonna just stand here for no reason at all, you know, and just wait for this to fill in a little bit more and just to leave him, I don't know, depends how much, how much is wool? One stack, one diamond? I think that's that's a good price. If he if he's gonna want more, uh, he, he, he can, I'm gonna leave him a message. So yeah, I'm just gonna FK here and I think that's it for this episode and I'm gonna end the episode over here because I've run out of time. I need to edit this and, you know, <laughs> finally get an episode out. So, yeah, I'm gonna be over here, AFK, to get some wool. And, well, we're gonna be planning my base in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. And, well, take, take my swift wind bow before you go. And, well, goodbye. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye.